Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is endometrial fluid? What causes it? And does it have an effect? And if it is caused by not natural reasons, does it uh, also require treatment? That's the topic for today. Endometrial fluid is a natural secretion that is formed inside the endometrial cavity. It is also called as uterine fluid or intrauterine fluid. The endometrial fluid is produced by the glands of the endometrial lining, which is tissue that lines the inside of the uterus. The amount of endometrial fluid present in the cavity of the uterus, that is the endometrium, is uh, fluctuating. It varies throughout the menstrual cycle and it depends on the fluctuations based on the hormones as well. So if the hormone fluctuation is more, the fluctuations in the level of the uh, endometrial fluid is also more. It is a side effect of the hormonal fluctuations. During the menstrual cycle, the level of estrogen rises just before ovulation. So in preparation for the egg to grow, estrogen levels rise. And the effect of estrogen also is seen on the endometrium. It begins to increase the blood flow to the endometrium. In addition to that, the fluid content inside the endometrium also increases. Now this fluid is actually very conducive for the atmosphere of the uterus because when the sperm arrive, the fluid inside the uterine cavity is also responsible for the transport of the firms towards the egg. The fluid inside the endometrium is a natural occurrence. In some cases, there is an excessive amount of fluid inside the endometrial cavity and that could be a cause of concern. It is called as hydrometra. This condition may be caused by hormonal imbalances, uterine infections or other medical conditions. If you have concern about this increase in endometrial fluid, which was uh, diagnosed during a scan or are having vaginal itching or are having pelvic pain, it is important to consult with a healthcare provider so that you can be properly evaluated and appropriate management can be done. Treatment for endometrial fluid depends on the underlying causes of the condition. In some cases, endometrial fluid may not require any specific treatment as it may be a normal variation in the menstrual cycle. However, if endometrial fluid accumulation is causing symptoms or complications, treatment may be necessary. Treatment involves antibiotic treatment or the cause of the problem will first be diagnosed. If uh, there is an underlying issue such as endometriosis or infections, then treatment is given for the specific uh, reasons and then scans are conducted to see if the endometrial fluid has come down. During embryo transfer, it's a very important aspect because when IVF is done and the embryos are ready to be transferred into your uterus and the doctor sees that there is fluid inside your endometrial cavity, then embryo transfer might be postponed to another day. This is because this fluid will not help in the embryos implanting inside your uterus. So it's a complicated thing. The side effect of giving you progesterone and estrogen to build up the endometrium also can be accumulation of fluid. But if this fluid is too much, then embryo transfers during IVF may be postponed for another day. If you wish to understand more about this or you have been diagnosed after a scan with endometrial fluid, excessive endometrial fluid, which is why you're not falling pregnant, you want to understand your treatment options, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you